Good morning and welcome to Herb Oracle Podcast, botanical divination with herbs, essences, flowers, and trees with your host, Herbal Marie. Let's start the day off pulling some oracle cards and getting a few messages. We can shoot the shiitake in a spiritual way-ish. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post a pic of the cards at Herb Oracle. Thanks so much for joining me. Here we go. Good morning, TGIF. Fantastic. <laughs> it's going to be a really hard habit to, to release, to not say TGIF you, TGIF off, TGIF this. Um, all about attitude change. So I have actually been up for two hours and I finally was like, why are you dragging your feet? Why are you dragging your feet so much this morning? I really haven't gotten anything done. Like I've, I've been awake for two hours. I have not really gotten anything done other than work on my happiness. Work on waking up. Um, I've been kind of just moseying around, singing a little bit, trying to wake up my throat so I'm not like obnoxious about clearing it in your ear. That really does bother me. Like I could you stop it? <laughs> could you knock it off? Um, so anyways, yeah, I've just been kind of up working on my happiness not really knowing what I want to do with our Friday hangouts. Like, I think I just need a day um, to hash hash it out, recap, review, reflect. Um, I, in the back of my mind, I do think it might, I have this idea that might be fun, but I don't know if it'll work because I don't know if anybody will show up. Um, and I was, I keep thinking that I should do like a Instagram live on Fridays or something and just pull cards for people while at the same time, like recording over here. I'm not sure how that would actually work, but I would love to pull cards for you sometimes, even if it's just one little card, like your card for this Friday. Um, or if you had a specific question, message me or call in there is a way to leave a voice message here. If you can get it out in under a minute, leave me a quickie um, through the Anchor radio app. You could be like, yo, um, blah, blah, blah. And then you ask a question real quick. And then I would like pull you a card on Fridays. Those are potential ideas. Um, but yeah, the going live keeps rolling back to me. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. No one will be there. <laughs> But anyways, you're here now, and I do want to say thank you very much for hanging out with me for this week one, the first week, week one, yeah, week one here at Ho. Thanks for hanging out with the Ho all week. I really enjoyed myself, you know. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Here it comes, you guys. <laughs> Isn't that sometimes the way to like do it? Like just over like be obnoxious and like pretend to die like Ugh, and then like you're like, oh, there we go. All right. So I am sipping on coffee. I hope next week I'm not drinking coffee. I hope next week I'm back on the celery juice. The That's my wish for myself that I'm going to make tonight right now. We got the full moon energy, which really rocked my fucking boat last night. <laughs> if I can just get that out. Are you guys feeling the full moon energy? I was riding the full moon wave, right? Like feeling really high, really good. Um, and then last night, you know, what? think about what a wave does. Eventually, the ebb and flow crashes that mother trucker on the shoreline of sadness. It was sadness for me. All of a sudden last night, I just felt so sad. I just felt so sad last night. Um, and it didn't help that I had a bellyache. I made like really bad food choices. Cinnamon rolls for breakfast, not the best food choice. Leftover chili in my freezer from November, again, not the best food choice. Starting my day off with coffee. I think that needs to stop. Hold on, I want to have a drink. I want <laughs> before I quit. Hold on. 
Yeah, I have four stalks of celery in the fridge. That's like, why did you even buy me if you're just going to waste me? I do. I want to get back on the medical medium recipes. My body felt so good. Um, I think the other reason why my intestines and my stomach are just kind of had enough is I haven't complained about my life all week. I think that's really great of me. <laughs> I wish I could continue that on, but there are definite things in my life that are, are they are stressing me out, matey. They are. They really are. People's emotional bullshit. Um, yeah, the triggers are surfacing for me. I got to watch out for that. Um, yeah, there's just some things going on that, yeah, I put my stomach in a knot. But here's the beauty of my life. I have done so much work trying to get happy, do, practicing happiness, um, r hitting the reset button that today, even though I was in such a dark place last night, kinda, I was, I didn't feel good at all. Um, today, I'm back to being okay again because, 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 because I've practiced it. So anyways, Shout out to practicing the things we want to manifest more of, and happiness is one of them. The other thing that we practiced a lot this week was the frequency of abundance, the frequency of abundance. So that's what we did this week, too. Let's just recap. Okay, if you missed the episodes this week, here's what you're invited to listen to if you feel drawn to any of it. Monday, I'm <clears throat> looking at my list. Monday, we did the herb of the week, which was dandelion. And I pulled out from the decks all of the dandelion cards that I could find, which was a lot. Um, and we just basically read every single dandelion entry I could get my hands on. Um, now, at the end of the week, if you want to get nerdy with it, na 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 na, you can head on over to Herb Oracle. There is a podcast sitting already over there called You Know Dandelion, and it's really just focusing on the physical things about dandelion and what you can use it for. And I think I get a little rowdy, if I remember correctly. I'm a little rowdy in that podcast um, because. People just piss on the dandelion. Some people, like dogs actually literally do, but energetically, it's so hated. It's, it's, it, people hate the dandelion. So many people, not everybody. But you know, it's one of the probably most popular plants that humans love to try to poison, which it's ridiculous because who we're actually poisoning is ourselves um, when we put poison in our gardens, it gets into our water supply, it's on our hands, it's on our feet. Um, when you spray your grass with p pesticides trying to get rid of the dandelions, your your animals run through it. You wonder why your dogs get cancer. Hello, they're running through grass. That's poison. So anyways, I was like really feisty for the You Know Dandelion Herbal Marie podcast. Pretty sure. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to it again. Um, just I'm gonna force myself to listen to it again, and just to get a nice refresher of the properties of dandelion. I really just spit them out good with that. But yeah, Monday we just did the oracle properties of dandelion. What did it teach us? We have the cards right here. It taught us about manifestation because it's an incredible manifester with all those seeds on the puff head. It taught us those same seed balls taught us to release what no longer serves us, right? Um, let go of things. There's a big message about release with dandelion. Of course, there's a message to make a wish. Keep making your wishes. Keep asking the universe for what you want. Tonight's a full moon, and it's a, it's a really good energy lined up to make a wish. So make a good one for yourself. Make a good one for yourself. Um, Detox was a big message with dandelion too. We talked a lot about detoxing on Monday. Whew. Emotionally, physically, there's just so much right now that we need to finish letting go. 
Okay, so that's what I felt last night, I think, with the full moon energy. That's what it brought out of me. Like a few things that I have yet to finish letting go. And the energies, you know, the, pull, the full moon really pulls and tugs at me. I feel it. I really feel it. And it, that can mean a variety of things. I can be happy. I can be emotional. I can just be like really ready to get naked like the full moon <laughs> the full moon I never know I never know what it's gonna bring out in me but it's always interesting I'll definitely say that and this this full moon brought out a lot of happiness and then BAM out of nowhere it just crashed me into the into the shoreline and made me feel some sadness that I was avoiding I will admit I was I was avoiding feeling this, um, and you just can't sweep anything under the rug anymore. You just can't do that. So um, I'm gonna take that energy of dandelion and release it, you know, detox it. But first, you gotta feel it. First, you gotta acknowledge it. Dandelion also had a great message of humility. We talked about that Monday. Perseverance. Which was, a, which was great for me to hear, right? Because we gotta keep on chucking, we gotta keep on doing, we gotta keep on following the path that we are inclined to. And that was also another message of the dandelion on the tarot card being the fool, setting out on a new adventure, right? Just being open to new experiences and, um, not being afraid, not being afraid to look like the fool, right? So anyways, much love and many thanks to Dandelion this week. Um, I just love that it just took us beautifully into our tarot reading on Tuesday. Uh, that was huge. I sh that was huge. What an incredible message uh, for me personally. It sort of is so, so big, I haven't even really been able to sit with it a whole, whole lot. Um, but that's what the weekends are for. <laughs> Just gonna say that. That's what the weekends are for. I got a lot of catching up to do with housework and I gotta clean offices. And I might just replay that podcast or all of them just to rehear what was said and hear it from a different perspective and uh, keep on practicing the manifestation of more abundance. That's gonna take some work. I really realized that because we did manifest more abundance on Wednesday and then Thursday, I basically woke up and forgot everything that I said. <laughs> but that's okay because our tree guides, the yew tree and the pine tree, really just hit a home run and Thursday was so great. And now we're here today, Friday, which I'm supposed to just be hanging out with my friends, that's you. Um, talking about flowers, talking about foraging, talking about plants, and uh, yeah, just hanging out. Cause yeah, we did so much work. Now I think that's I think I'm allowed I'm allowed to give myself permission to just have a blibbery blab type of Friday podcast because holy work, Batman! I mean, starting out diving headfirst in a dandelion, then doing an incredible tarot reading, manifesting more abundance, and then literally ble being blown the f away by the trees yesterday. I mean, th that's enough. That is enough. So yes, honey, whatever you have done this week is enough. It's enough. Whatever you've done this week is enough. You are enough. Your work is enough. Your fun, wait, not enough fun. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. We're gonna try to have a little bit of fun. And the one thing that I think is so fun is friends. Now, I do not have that many friends, but the ones that I do have are exceptional, like exceptionally wonderful. So where I maybe lack in quantity, I make up for in quality. Hold on, I'm gonna open up the window here. <clears throat> All right, so when the, sun, when the sun starts to come out today, I can see it. Whew, I'm looking forward to that friend returning. I mean, like right now in the summer, it'll, be, it'll have already been light out forever um, that will be a game changer because right now like I can get up I can get up in the morning and it's still dark 
and it's like what the heck am I even doing here but I'm practicing getting up in the morning to just get better at it and who having a friend online to say good morning sunshine that has been super helpful with like getting up like so right away in the morning like I have something to look forward to um, it's the little things you guys it's the little things so here was a little thing but a huge thing that happened to me last night my one of my best mama friends mama Burkett shout out to Sherry I love you so much she has a really cool Instagram page where she showcases her creations from her bakery um, I will I will mention her in my Instagram stories so anyways she surprised me yesterday last night we just you know she just stops by she's a local she's allowed to do that and she had this sweet little gift for me and it was wrapped up in this scrapbooking paper that I am so in love with I actually flattened it out and and cut out um, it was it was a whole bunch of seed packets on the scrapbooking paper but they're like the coolest seed packets you ever did see and they look kind of like vintage, but an illustrated. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Maybe make like handmade cards or use them for thank you notes. Um, they're just so cute. I love it. Um, so anyways, that was just the wrapping paper inside. <laughs> isn't that fun? Like when the gift looks so good, you're like, I don't even care what's inside this. This is so adorable. She had like this yellow maize colored lacy ribbon around it and there was a card with my name on it and um she said open the card first and i was like all right and it says thank you um, it's a thank you card and uh in the card it says yay welcome 2020 sadie may you continue to bless the world with your plant knowledge and healing endeavors in 2020. Love you, Sherry. So, oh my gosh, I just, you know, she just melts me. It's friends like this that just go out of their way. Hey there, guess what? A deer just ran, two deers, three deers, three deers just ran through the yard. That's what my dogs are freaking out about. All right, they were cute. Yesterday we saw a bunny rabbit, today we saw three deers. So yeah, three deers. I think I feel like that's symbolic because yeah, I can always at least think of three deers in my life, like deer sweethearts. So today, as I before I yell at my dogs, um, think about three people that are that you love dearly, that are dear to you, that just really bring an energetic ray of sunshine into your experience and focus on them and feel grateful for them and oh, just relish in that good feeling feeling so anyways that was the card and inside the beautiful wrapping paper um, was take a guess seeds oh, isn't she so sweet so she had got on Baker's Creek at rareseeds.com and that girl she kind of went crazy she went crazy and um, ordered herself a bunch of seeds and 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 shared several four five six seven eight she got me eight packets of seeds and if you've ever been on rareseeds.com if you're familiar with Baker Creek heirloom seeds well one you know they're the best and two you know they're not the cheapest <laughs> that's okay because they're the best all right so let me sh let me show you tell you tell you show you what she got for me she got me some balm some Moldavi Moldavian dragon head which will be new to me it's an annual Eurasian native that has been cultivated for centuries minty lemony leaves and large purple flowers have long been used in herbal tea attracts bees so this is new um, and it almost looks like a long elongated flower stem of like self heal like that tiny little petals 
like that. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. Because, like, sometimes it's hard to tell from a picture. Like, is that just tiny or are we talking big here? But it is balm. And it's it's got quite a Latin name. Dracocephalum moldavicum. So, <laughs> I'm going to grow some of that. She got me some purple betony or hedge nettle. Um, that'll be fun. This is this was highly prized in the Middle Ages for its medicinal properties, used as valued wound and digestive remedy, also treating tension and pain inducing migraines. So some purple betony or hedge nettle. Um, she got me something called lettuce pickling plume. And this says it's lactuca sativa. It produces pointed plume like leaves, delicious in salads, flower stock is edible like asparagus, and traditionally pickled in a brine solution. They're about 36 inches tall and stalks are harvested before flowers form. So I'm gonna be eating some of those. <laughs> and then um let me see. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save the best for last. Hold on. Let me. Let me rearrange. She got me two different types of yarrow. I know you think yarrow would be the one for last, because um, Sherry and I last year. I think I told you. Yeah. Yeah. Because we pulled the yarrow card. Was that with our tarot spread? And um, that's. I, yeah. I've already talked about this. Okay. So how funny is this? Tuesday. If you hung out with me Tuesday, we pulled. A 2020 forecast and yarrow came up and I was like yeah because I didn't harvest any yarrow last year because we waited too long so this is the friend that um at the end of summer we were like hey we should go looking for yarrow well we didn't find any um, we found some other gems and treasures and we had a good walk on the hill but we definitely were like okay next year we gonna get our yarrow so we have this running yarrow joke Sherry and I and so that was funny that she got me some yarrow. She got me some common yarrow and also Parker's variety, which is yellow, bright yellow. So that'll be fun to see. Um, common yarrow says perennial, chaste snow white flowers, popular herb used for colds, fevers, and for healing wounds. And then Parker's variety says perennial, this hardy yellow, has beautiful feathery gray green foliage and lovely flower clusters with many tiny yellow flowers. Long lasting and beautiful in arrangements. So that will be sweet to see. I'm so excited to grow flowers, you know, not just for myself, but for the butterflies and the bees and just for the pure enjoyment of laying my eyes on them. Ooh, I just can't wait to put my face in some flowers. Like, I miss you. I miss you, girl. <laughs> I wish someone would treat me like a flower. All right, moving on. Seriously, if you see me in real life, put your face in mine. I need it. <laughs> and that was like the best thing, getting a hug from my friend and just seeing her and um, having a chat. And yeah, I mi winter, I miss, I miss seeing people because, you know, I do live in a tiny little village town and if you're if it's nice out you're out and about and if you want some company and conversation it's just like right there right go ahead go have some people are out but when it's cold like this and I mean it has been bitter cold like like hurt <laughs> like it, it hurts your skin to be outside um, nobody's standing around outside chatting all right we got another yellow flower it is sweet mace or Mexican mint it has it's a marigold um to gates lucida this is a Mexican mint marigold it is a tender perennial late blooming marigold great in teas and other drinks for flavoring many dishes Hispanic heirloom so I love dreaming about what can grow I don't know where the hell I'm gonna grow all this though I mean my yard is crazy right now it is really crazy. I need a new game plan. I really do. Especially because these last two are going somewhere. They are going somewhere where I can har where the dogs are not going to pee on them and I can harvest them for tea. Um, 
last year on Herbal Marie, I think I had a shoot the shiitake episode where I just went through the Baker's Creek catalog and and told you all the si- all the things that I circled. Like it was the equivalent of a little kid in the J.C. Penney Christmas catalog. Okay, you, do you have, did you do that as a kid? Get the J.C. Penney catalog and circle pretty much every single toy in there, everything that you wanted. Well, with the Baker's Creek, instead of going to the toy section, I went to the herb section and just circled every, I think I talked about every single herb that they had, but the two herbs that really tickled my fancy were the plantains. There was a variegated plantain and a, and a purple plantain called purple perversion and I laughed so hard about it and now I'm laughing about it still because I'm holding them in there in my hand there doesn't sound like there's very many purple plantain seeds in this packet so I'm gonna have to make them make make them work y'all okay but I, I have now the variegated and the purple perversion plantain from Baker's Creek I'm so excited because Plantain is one of my favorite teas to drink. It's just so wholesome. <laughs> I love it. And it gets whatever junk is in you that shouldn't be, it gets it out of you. So there's a variegated plantain, which looks basically like a broadleaf plantain, except it has whitish, you know, variegations on it, like a hosta kind of, but it's a plantain. This is an ornamental foliage plant with major medicinal benefits. Leaves make a slightly bitter spinach substitute and are used to soothe bites, cuts, and poison ivy rashes. Now, the purple one, it has like ruffled leaves. It is a fancy plantain. Um, purple perversion plantain, a pretty twist on a potent medicinal plant Slightly bitter leaves make a fine spinach substitute, same thing, used to soothe bites, burns, rashes, and poison ivy. And I'm telling you what, plantain makes a delicious tea. If you haven't ever tried it, dry, I like to dry it and then use it, but you can you can put it in your fresh brews. You know, in summertime when you go out and pick stuff fresh, make a fresh brew, it's good for that. Put a little bit in your green juice that you make in the blender. I mean, I just absolutely love it. And so I'm just tickled that like, whatever, for whatever reason, she was inspired to buy me seeds. And these two that I really genuinely wanted were part of her gift to me. So Sherry, I love you so much. I love you, mama. I just, I think so highly of everyone. And and Tuesday, when we pulled those tarot cards, wasn't a big message that was threaded throughout, was to start celebrating the people around you, the people in your life. So start celebrating everybody. Even I mean, this was a huge thing to be thankful for, but there are things every day to say thank you very much. Um, this was above and beyond, you know, just her presence alone. Um, I can be thankful for and especially these seeds and these gifts and you know just the prospect of hanging out with her again this summer talking about plants being in nature and just growing together this is a friend of mine that we have grown together over the last how long have we known each other uh, 10 years yeah we hung out the last decade and we really have utilized each other's presence in such a beautiful way. So anyways, I love you, Mama Burkett, and thank you so much for these seeds. You are awesome. Hey, you beautiful lovelies. Today's Affirmation Minute is brought to you by the Herb of the Week, Dandelion. And shout out to all my patrons and listener support. Thank you so much. You make this podcast possible and I dedicate these affirmations to you. I am able to adapt to any situation. I make wishes and allow them to manifest. I am abundant. I am able to bloom anywhere. I release 
what no longer serves me. I am able to adapt to any situation. I make wishes and allow them to manifest. I am abundant. I am able to bloom anywhere. I release what no longer serves me. And so it is. All right. Well, I was just in the bathroom. And that's where, you know, I always get my best ideas and my best work. And I was thinking for this next segment, I was going to do what I said I didn't want to do, which is do my next podcast segment live on Instagram. All right, so I really wanted something new to do on Fridays, and I thought, good morning, Digital Bouquet. I really thought it might be fun on Fridays to work into my podcast, which I am actively recording right now, which is kind of weird for me, to pull some cards live for my friends, because I want Friday to be all about the Fs, the good Fs this time, right? Um, Friends, flowers, foraging, what are, the, what are some other good Fs? Because usually, like, I say, like, hey, welcome to Friday, TGI F off, right? We're going to change that this year. We're going to change that. So, good morning. How are you? Um, we are going to pull a few cards um, for everyone or for specific people from a few of my favorite decks, The Magic of Flowers. Um, I also have the Oracle of the Essences and this gem, the Soul Flower. So anyways, if you can join me live on Fridays, Spirit kind of infused this idea to me and I was like, I don't think this is a good idea, but you know, like it's early, who's going to be up at eight o'clock in the morning? Um, Do I really want my face on? you know, you know the song and dance. But then I thought to myself, yeah, let's do it. Let's pull some some uh, cards together. And um, I will record the podcast as I'm doing both. So anyways, I am completely multitasking right here. So whether you're listening now or you're listening later, um, welcome. So first we'll start off with the magic of flowers. So if anyone has a specific question, Um, Go ahead and ask. We'll ask the decks. Um, For next week, if you want to give me a question before Friday, you can either DM me or comment somewhere or call in to the radio app, the Anchor Radio, and you can leave a message. So anyways, it's been a great week here at Ho. It has been a great week at Ho, for me anyways. (laughs) It's been a really great week for me. (laughs) Hopefully it was good for you too. Um, I'm going to listen back to some of the stuff this weekend because just so much, so much like was covered um, for me between dandelion, abundance, um, the trees, the tarot. It just was really, really, really amazing. So I want to pull some cards today for my friends and I think... I think I'll start off with the soul flower. I think I'm gonna pull like a one for everyone, um, just kind of like collectively, like where we're at and um, see what kind of messages people need or want to hear. So this, I saw that um, Lisa Estabrook, she, I follow her on Facebook. Good morning, Kathy. Um, I. <laughs> we're live. We're live and recording the podcast at the same time. I know it's good to see you too. Um so she is really she has done so much inner work, so much good work with this soul flower deck. Incredible. She she keeps expanding her journey and um sharing it with everybody. Hold on, there's a cord. There's a cord in front of the comments. So Kathy is here giving me the heart eyes. Thank you so very much for being here. We're going to pull cards on Friday live while I record it in the podcast too. So <laughs> it's it's like just one of those ideas that came in while I was on the toilet 
And um, I was like, well, it must be a good idea then because this is when that divine inspiration happens. Like literally as I'm letting go, releasing, the good energy comes in. It's like spirits like, we need to get Sadie a message. Just wait till she uses the bathroom. She listens then for whatever reason. <laughs> Digital bouquet, sending me some beautiful flowers. You know, this week I mentioned, I think on Tuesday, on Terra Tuesday, about the people who have reached out to me, sent encouragement, sent love, and how much it means to me. And you are one of them. Both of you are one of them. And I appreciate you so, so much. So let's pull one of these cards like for, all, for us, like just one card to kick it off. And then if you would like either a magic, a flowers card, um, I'll, I think those are, I'll pull you each one of those and then we'll end with one of the Oracle of the Essences and uh, get an affirmation. So if you have a specific question, Kathy, or digital bouquet, um, go ahead and ask it. If not, I'll just leave it up to the universe to bring you in a message. And um, like I said, for next week, anyone who missed out on this live, you can submit a question beforehand and then you just listen to it in the podcast. So the podcast is still recording over here. It's kind of weird. It's just ticking away. <laughs> All right, let's get a message from the soul flowers. Um, I love live streaming. It totally increases my energy like right off the bat because it makes me nervous. And boom, sometimes being nervous is good. Sometimes doing something unfamiliar is good. Putting ourselves in a situation where we have to see ourselves is good every once in a while. <laughs> like every once in a while. Um, maybe you could ask about how I how to send peace to people. Good question. Well, and as you're asking that, people living with lots of anger. <laughs> as you're typing this in real time, I am pulling this. So is it okay if we instantly, instantly bring in the rose? Um, love, it's the answer for everything, isn't it? Love, love, love. Um, but I will tell you that this week, this week I had a personal experience with somebody who was very 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 angry and wanted to like take it out on me even though it really didn't have anything to do with me this anger was within them and the technique that I use for people who are angry or that I need to forgive is I picture them and then I I picture them surrounded in white light Speaking of light, I gotta turn this down a notch. It's like I, I was too bleached out there for a second. So I I took this person and I held him in my mind, his angry illusion that he was stuck in in his mind, and I just smothered that mother trucker with white light in the kindest way that I know how. <laughs> I just lit him a fire with light, white light and felt like a warm energy of unconditional love that like a mother would have for her child that the creator has for all of us and um but yeah we can ask the cards that for sure um what else we can do to send peace who to people who are living with lots of anger but the white light oh it's so good the white light is so good to just see them surrounded and so if like i i do that if like i'm having trouble forgiving somebody i just put that white light all around them <laughs> and then it really does get easier for whatever reason it gets easier so our first card for my friends today for us on friday tgif forgiveness <laughs> we need to think of some more f things um, is joy. Rose is comforting and soothing. Infusing your heart and soul with gratitude and joy and helping you to stay centered and loving to yourself and others when it is needed most. Rose reminds you to be open to sweetness, to be open to the sweetness of life, and supports your personal growth 
whatever the conditions surrounding you may be. And that is one of our affirmations this week from Dandelion. I am able to adapt to any situation. And Rose is saying that she supports us. She supports you, your growth, wherever, whatever the conditions may be. So I am able to adapt to any situation. I am able to adapt to any conditions. I am able to shine light, love, joy, comfort, in harmony in any situation and it's a challenge but it can be done and the more I practice this in my life the more that I see that I react less I react less and just consciously respond more with love and if I can't summon love quite yet I at least tap into like indifference and indifference always seems like a word that's like kind of like rude, like you don't care. But when you're trying to not respond anger to anger, indifference is a lifesaver, right? The, the ability to detach and remove yourself emotionally is a freaking lifesaver. <laughs> so anyways, our flower friend to get us started is Rose. This is, this is a really pretty rose. Um, like the wild kind that you would see, not the cultivated um, emoji roses, but this is like the actual ones that you might find out on your walk or in an old fashioned garden. It's beautiful. I hope to connect with Rose more this summer. Absolutely. And there's a nice rose hip behind that rose. So beautiful. All right. So that's a great question. Kathy, are you, do you have a specific question we can ask? We will ask our questions um, to this deck by Tess Whitehurst, The Magic of Flowers. So um, thanks for joining me live on Instagram. I never went live here before. So this is a new thing, um, a new, new thing to do in 2020. I thought about going live on Facebook because Ho has a Facebook page and I thought, no. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. I just felt like it was a no. Mainly because uh, there might be people that I know in real life that show up. <laughs> I was like, I was like, don't do it. They probably didn't even listen to your podcast. Because a lot of my friends and family, I invited them to like the Ho page. And they liked it out of kind, that, to be nice, right? But they don't even listen to my podcast. <laughs> so they won't even know what I'm talking about. So I thought, you know what, just go um, over to Instagram and uh, you might only have a couple people, but at least they'll be the ones that, that listen in. All right, so let's ask that question. Digital Bouquet, digital dot bouquet is asking this card deck a beautiful question that like we literally all could benefit from because we all know someone who is living with lots of anger. Hopefully it's not us, you know, but if I could just interrupt myself for a second. Last night, those full moon energies that crashed me into the shoreline, because I had been riding the, the wave of being happy and high and getting excited to make my full moon wish. Well, as ebb and flow goes, as ebb and flow will go, that high had to come crashing down at some point and dang, did I feel it. And it felt like sadness to me, but it was a complicated sadness because it showed me that there are some residual places where I'm, I have some anger to clean up um, with ending my relationship in my real life. This week especially, he really threw me some love challenges and um, some moments where I was like, wow, I might actually get angry with you, <laughs> right? Like, like that look. And um, it occurred to me that I don't really have an outlet for this anger if I'm trying not to, to put it towards him. So yeah, it was a good moment for me to surround my own ass with white light um, and, and just let myself feel it, let myself feel the frustration, feel the anger, and um, feel the sadness that I think I was feeling because one, so many parts of my life are ending, 
which is sad, but that means so many new beginnings are going to be able to start, which is good. But you have to be real about it and just feel the sadness for what it is. So anyways, shout out to the full moon. It always takes me for a really good ride, whether I want it or not. And um, it's just something I gotta deal with. All right, so. Rose is saying, feel your feelings, get into your heart space, but always remember to come back to your joy. And Digital Bouquet asked, how to send peace to people who are living with lots of anger? So the one that just tripped off the bottom of the deck, and then we'll look at the top of the deck, is Narcissus. Narcissus. And this is all a message of self-love. self-love so and you're like well what does that have to do with anybody else well the more love that we feel inside ourselves and the more we are able to project out onto others so I think like when someone's living with a lot of anger in their life one don't judge them um, don't don't shame them even in your own mind and at whatever point, I'm seeing like whatever point you can get your visualization of them, like, okay, so right now you have a definition of that person as being an angry person. Like when I think of so-and-so, I see him as angry. Well, that's kind of keeping him angry. That's kind of encouraging that energy to stay that energy. So when we surround them with a white light, we're helping to diffuse that anger energy. The next step would be around that white light is to take that love that you have inside of yourself and also put that around the person and start to see that person as a person with the potential to be less angry, as a person with the potential to feel neutrality, and then see them as a person with the potential to feel love. So it's really difficult to jump from anger to love. So you work through anger, then feeling neutral, then actually feeling loving and happy. So what we think about people really does matter and it really does influence the world. So, if, so just like we took that white light and put it around one angry person, we actually can visualize that white light around the whole world like like let's just do everybody at once right let's just make this happen so our flower friend narcissus is answering that question by saying of course the more you love yourself the more you'll be able to use that abundance of love that you have brewing inside of you and actually direct it out into the world Okay, so on the top, as we're talking about directing energy out on out to the world, we have Bougainvillea, which is a message of purification. That's actually what we are doing when we visualize energy out into the world. We're helping to purify. We're helping to like purify the grid. We're helping to purify the collective consciousness. So what can you do to help? Put your good energy out there. What can we do to send peace to people who are living with lots of anger? Feel, feel the feeling of peace inside of us, real time. Cultivate peace within and then open up, put your arms out, close your eyes and send that feeling out into the world. And we can do that collectively just as a general general practice for everyone or we can single people out we can single people out and be like you you need it today <laughs> and then we could just like give it out and um and yeah focus on them so that was a good question i really enjoyed that um asking a specific question a lot of times like in my life I just have general questions really or I'm just like open like what does the universe want me to know about today but every once in a while I do have a specific person I want to get feedback from so 
Um, Kathy, do you have a question? And, and uh, we can do that one, or I can pull you a general card. Thank you, Digital Bouquet, for giving us that prompt. That is so nice. I'll leave them out with the rose um, to kind of just remind us all. Yeah, remind us all to keep on sending our love out. And uh, hold on, <laughs> distraction. This is when I push pause and take a break. Um, yeah, just keep on sending our love out. And uh, let's see if I have a little card for it. So my friend gave me a gift yesterday. And um, it was wrapped in this beautiful scrapbooking paper that had all these cool um, pictures on it. So here, here's one that I'm going to include today. Kindness is contagious. Kindness is contagious. I, yeah, I cut them out because they're in the shape of cards and seed packets. And I'll just use them every once in a while. But kindness is contagious. So seeds for your garden. What kind of seeds do we want to plant in the world? Kindness, love, peace, putting out the good vibes. Because certainly there's enough anger being promoted. Certainly um, there's a lot of fear being pushed right now. Um, Kathy says, no, universe pick. <laughs> Kathy's like, no, just let's leave it open. Um, but yeah, if you're falling into fear right now, um, for whatever reason, even if it's just like everyone has the flu right now, um, you know, that's, that's, a, that, that's a, a moment where instead of falling into fear like everybody else, you could um, instead take a moment to feel gratitude for the brilliance of our bodies, um, for the intelligence of our immune system, and um, send out good healthy vibes into the world like as everyone is focused on illness you know you can focus on strength resilience um, well-being so with every moment you know it's a choice what we want to focus on Kathy there's your cards card card there's coming up there's your card in every moment we have a choice that's what abundance talked about Wednesday, manifest more abundance. Um, it was like in every moment, you are either going to be focused on not having enough or you're going to be focused on prosperity, right? You're going to be focused on feeling wealthy or you're going to either be focused on feeling lack, lack, lack. Even the word like wants to kill me when you say it, lack. It doesn't even feel good to say. All right, Kathy, your card is hyacinth. <laughs> your card is hyacinth with irresistible attraction. So here is something that we can all remember in our Friday, in our weekend. You know, we want things, we can make wishes for things. <clears throat> But the best way to get something new going on in our life is to just be the vibration of it, like the hyacinth, and offer this vibration of energy and just basically be irresistibly attractive to what we want. So if you've ever heard, um, who said it? Rumi. Rumi said it. What you are seeking is seeking you. So it's like, what do you want, Kathy? Tonight's the full moon. I want you to make a wish. I want you to make a wish of something that you want. And then instead of like going out looking for it or making it happen, just try to get yourself into that feeling place that you already have it, that it already feels good, and see if you can magnetize it, pull it to yourself. Just play with the universe. I feel like the universe's message to you is to play with it more and test it out and see what you can allow to happen. So think about what you want and then just be the flower, right? The highest synth doesn't go out looking for the bee. It just blooms. It just adds beauty to the world. And then bzz, here comes the bee, you know, it just brings it to it. And um, that's really what we want to be doing in our life. We really want to just bring, attract, 
We want to attract the good stuff into our life. Um, instead of forcing it to happen, instead of making it happen, we want to attract it. Instead of, instead of calling your friends and be like, you haven't hung out with me forever, right? Instead of like guilting people to be in your life, just be happy, be vibrant, be sweet, and people will want to be with you. So yeah, we have a big message from the B, you know, to be, to be happy, and then people will want to be with you. So whether it's like our family, our kids, you know, it's like, you can like tell your kids like, we need to do something together. But like, instead of forcing your kids to hang out with you, it's like, this is something I would do. Um, instead of forcing your kids to play a game with you, just be fun, be happy, and they will want to be with you. And that applies to everyone and everything. So I would definitely say have fun this weekend. Um, also on top and bottom, just to show you real quick, there was a lilac reversed and calla lily on the bottom. So how do you get to be how do you get to be what you want to be? You need to meditate. You need to quiet down. Um, you need to hit your own little reset button. And um, yeah, you need to follow your intuition. Absolutely. There's a big message there from Lilac to follow your intuition. Um, she has her eyes closed. She has a star lit up right on her third eye. And yeah, trust trust the messages that you are receiving. And in pairing that up with Calla Lily, she's saying be still and then you will receive. So I know this weekend too, I definitely have a message from Spirit to renew, reset, rejuvenate. I've had a little bit of a bellyache since Christmas. <laughs> right? Like I've had a little bit of a bellyache since Christmas and it's just like really time for us to like get ourselves back on track. So we can take this weekend, digest all the great messages that we received um, and play with the universe, have fun. Um, that's a great way to encourage more love and joy in our life like Rose said. And then like we were just talking about, you know, then shining our light and love out to people in anger. Well, the more good feelings we conjure within ourselves, then the more we have to offer and infuse in the world. So I love these cards that we've gotten collectively too. Like they're all really peaceful and calm, yet loving and fun and purifying. It's like a great combination. So anyways, thanks girls for letting me pull cards for you and being part of my podcast that's still going over here. So um, let's wrap up this little, this last segment of the podcast. Um, maybe we'll do this on Fridays again. That would be fun. We could just pop out some quick questions. Um, we'll end with a card from the Oracle of the Essences by Monica the Enchantress down in Australia. So I have really had fun connecting with a lot of the creators of these cards. Um, so today we have Tess, we have Lisa and Monica. I mean, these women who make these cards are goddesses and I appreciate them so much um, for giving me these fun tools to play with so maybe this weekend, if you guys have Oracle decks, do a reading for yourself. You could pull me a card. <laughs> pull me a card and, and uh, put it in my DM. <laughs> hey, my DMs have really cleaned up after I made intentions to get the riffraff out. Um, I got to just shout out to the universe. Once we make intentions as Bougainvillea to purify our energy, our lives, um, our our DMs, our inboxes, it really can. We really can clean up. And when I see my own life getting cleaned up, when I see my own life getting cleaned up and being more peaceful and being more loving and um, yeah, just purifying to my to what I want, then it, it puts faith in me that if I can do that in my own little life, 
with my energy then I can help the world I can help the collective so if you want to help the world if you want to help the collective get your own life feeling as good as you can and then yeah it will it will help every thought you think every feeling you feel does infuse outward so let's end with an oracle of the essences and then I'll end the live stream and then I'll go over here and do the ending for Ho, for Herb Oracle. Here's our card. Ooh, this card has been with me. It's sandalwood. It is sandalwood with this amazing message of us expanding our spirituality, taking it up to that next level shit. <laughs> um, and this also has a message about faith. Perfect. Perfect, because we got a lot of messages on Tarot Tuesday, Tuesday Tarot to rely more on spirit. And the trees also said that to us too this week. Have more faith. Rely more on spirit. Rely more on yourself and that experience within. Have more faith in your ability to manifest. Invest in your spiritual journey. Ooh. So anyways, these are all messages that I receive when I look at this sandalwood card. There's the beautiful sandalwood flowers at the bottom. And then there's this naked guy. What's up? And um, he's got his arms out. He actually probably has a name because you see him everywhere. And he has all his different chakra light bodies. He's got... Yeah, root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus, heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye, and crown colored, coated around him, these light beings. And sometimes that's fun. Um, that's kind of fun to like look at your chakras, you know, their energy centers, but sometimes it's helpful to me to look at them as like different versions of myself right so so yeah I have the root chakra right um, we got the root chakra we got that energy we have have the things associated with it when I'm doing healing work just like there's this light body like you can kind of envision yourself being your root chakra essence you know and then when you're doing your healing work you can kind of integrate that more in you because it's like another layer of you yeah, like if you overlaid all of these bodies one by one by one, it would be one complete whole being. So, I mean, that's just sometimes a fun way to look at it when I look at this card. So I can think about healing my root chakra being. I can think about healing my sacral chakra being and my solar plexus, which makes me think of this, this card right here, this self-love, right? Self-love is a big, big step on our spiritual journey, like huge, like so big. Um, and it's getting better and better for me. And I hope it's getting better and better for you as well. Loving yourself more, feeling good, accepting who you are. If the whole world could start to love themselves and accept themselves, then the, that anger would just dissipate. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have to pray for peace because peace would just be the default setting. But of course, that's not where we're at now. So we'll continue to do the work within ourselves and not just for ourselves, but for the highest good of all, for the state of the world, for all of humanity. We want everyone to feel love. We want everyone to feel joy. We want everyone to feel peace. And we want everyone to take stock, to invest in their spiritual journey and have faith in spirit which is where which is where our true security is absolutely so the wise words are from John Wooden what a fun name um, John Wooden who said do not let what you can not do interfere with what you can do I'll repeat that <laughs> do not let what you can do not let what you cannot do 
interfere with what you can do. So yeah, digital bouquet, like as we look at the world and we're like, oh my God, the world is just completely effed off angry. What can I do? Like, right? Like, we're just like, what can I even do? Um, what can you do though? You know, start to feel empowered by what you can do, by what you can put out there. So Indian sandalwood is very precious and is considered a national treasure. The harvest of this beautiful oil is regulated for the species safety. So if you do have sandalwood, use it like with so much reverence and respect. Um, it, some people might not want to buy sandalwood just for the sake that like, you know, it's over harvested. So I would say like vetiver is something kind of close that, you know, you might like to use. Um, sandalwood is a very deep and spiritual oil and it really is. It's up there with myrrh and patchouli. Yeah, those are my favorites. Um, it is used by many religions to worship gods, pray, or enhance meditation. Sandalwood is connected to the crown chakra. Very, very cool. Very cool. Um, there's been a lot of work in the crown lately. I, I took a bath last night and then I went to sleep with wet hair. So I woke up like looking like I should have a crown on today. I got queen hair today. Wow. Um, it's connected to the crown chakra. It is the oil that reminds you that we are never alone and there are higher forces here to help us in the journey of life. And that's been the message all week. Connect with spirit, rely on spirit, ask spirit for help. Um, you need to ask and ask often. And I had a conversation last night with spirit and I was like, I will keep asking, but you guys know, you know that you have permission all day, every day to be up in my business. I dedicate my life to spirit. Okay. Spirit knows it's allowed to use me, <laughs> but yet we still live in this reality that has free will and you have to ask and ask often. So I ask for guidance. I ask for strength. I ask for clear energy. I ask for intuition. I ask for resilience to stay on my spiritual path. So when the sandalwood personality is in the negative state, the individual might feel a loss of direction in life. Oh, and that's what my friend Sherry was kind of tapping into yesterday. Like, <clears throat> she brought me this gift to be sweet, okay? But she also needed a friend too. Do you know what I mean? Like, when she shows up, I know that, that we need each other. And, you know, I, so I'm going to take a moment right now and wish her and everyone spiritual direction and purpose and, and um, yeah, purpose in their life. And let your purpose be your spiritual journey. So um, forgetting what is important and, and focusing on all the problems of the world is, is when, what happens when, we're, when sandalwood is in the negative state. So that's okay because sandalwood can feel positive and then everything's going to look bright and happy and a sense of trust reflects from the inside out. So the older we get, the more likely we are to resonate with the sandalwood personality. The more we get stuck in our, our old ways, the heavier our worries seem. So if this full moon is bringing up the heaviness of the world, really go within, really take time to meditate, really take time to just completely quiet your mind so that spirit can come in with your permission to reset you, get you reset. The good news is that the older the sandalwood tree is, the more oil can be yielded. So as we become more wise, the more able we are to control these feelings. Yeah, the more, the older we get, we just get so good. <laughs> 
we are just getting amazing the older that we get. We get more patience, we get more tolerance, we have more control over ourselves, and then we literally have more to give, right? The older we get, the more we master our emotions, the more love we are able to cultivate, the more kindness and joy we are able to summon within you, the more we are able to give out to the world. Kindness is contagious, right? The more good vibes we put in there. We become irresistible to everybody because we feel good. They want to feel good. They feel good when they're around us. And then all of a sudden, we all just feeling so good. We're just all feeling so good. And then we remember who we are. We remember what our true purpose is. And our true purpose is our spiritual journey. So the colors in this card represent all the aspects that make up our soul. The guardians, the guardians represent the divine help that is always with us. Spirituality is part of who we are as natural as our naked body. It is up to you to accept this reality. <laughs> and I'm laughing because at the beginning of this podcast, I said the full moon was making me want to get naked. So <laughs> sometimes it makes me feel like that. Sometimes I'm just really happy. Sometimes I'm tired and depressed. I never know what the full moon is gonna do to me, but, but it's always interesting, that is for sure. So yeah, just as natural as what did it say your naked body is just as natural as your naked body is hey good morning um your spirituality is natural and it's who you are so if you have lost faith in the divine if you have forgotten to connect with your guides and spirit sandalwood is reminding you to trust the process Sandalwood here is to hold your hand and remind you that all those guides, all those colorful guides around you that are within you, that basically are you, they are here to hold your hand. If you have lost your inspiration, then ask for divine assistance. And um, yeah, that's what basically Calla Lily is doing here as well. She's asking right? She is asking for assistance from the divine and she is being still enough to receive it. So we're going to end right now with an affirmation. I am connected to the divine. I am one with all and it is easy for me to see the truth. So take a deep breath. I am connected to the divine. I am one with all, and it is easy for me to see the truth. So really feel it in your heart of hearts and say it one more time. I am connected to the divine. I am one with all, and it is easy for me to see the truth. Oh my goodness, so that I think went okay, rather well. I have to listen back. Um, I didn't realize that I was live streaming for 43 minutes and four seconds. That is the thing about live streaming with friends. When you're having fun, time flies. So I hope this first week with me, ho, with your ho, <laughs> was enjoyable and fun for you. Um, thank you so much. You guys are inspiration and light in my life. I enjoy talking to you so much. And I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Put one foot in front of the other and step into that new adventure. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll see you soon. So much love to you.